here. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to be here with you today to announce my 2023 makeup winners. Yes, these are the makeup items that I use and enjoy on a daily basis. I go through tons of makeup. You should see all the makeup that I have here. I go through lots of different makeup, sample it out, and these are the absolute best products I have found for 2023. These are my go-to products I use in my personal life and here on camera when given the choice. And the outfit that I'm wearing today also contains a lot of my winners in the wardrobe and jewelry categories. Absolutely love this sweater. You've seen it on my channel in about seven different colors. It is fabulous and I think it comes in 20 different colors. Love this. Also love the cargo pants. If you're brand new to cargo pants, I've tried three different versions and these are by far the best ones I have found. They hug you tightly in the waist, but they do go down and they're long enough to have that lean model look, which is just wonderful. Absolutely love these Pavoy earrings. If you want a jewelry company that gives you jewelry classics where the gold has not turned green, it does not turn tarnished, it looks the same as it did when I bought them two years ago, love these oval gold Pavoy classic earrings. Absolutely love this classic bracelet that can be engraved on the inside and I think it's under $13. Absolutely amazing. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, I hope you'll consider doing that. It is totally free. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great. Okay, let me get into my makeup winners for 2023. And I have a lot of them here, so I'll be going through them kind of quickly. And the first is the Jo Malone London Wild Bluebell Cologne. Now, this is obviously not a makeup, but I never get dressed in the morning without wearing this. If you love a beautiful floral scent, I can't recommend this highly enough. Perfumes and colognes tend to smell terrible on me, but because the Jo Malone fragrance is totally just wild bluebell, there's no weird note that comes out as like green stems. My sister says in her, it comes out like an animal smell. I'm not quite that bad, but this is an absolutely lovely cologne. And if you love florals, I think you would really find this beautiful. And before I get into my makeup products, I did want to show you two things that I use on a daily basis that make a huge difference. The first is the Lumify Whitening Drops. And here is a picture before and after. I use these every single morning before I brush my teeth. I put a drop in each eye and as you can see in about 60 seconds the whites of my eyes look a lot better a lot younger that was one thing about aging that before the Lumify I had real problems with and that is that my eyes are usually very red I call them my dark red snake eyes and Lumify has really helped my eye whites look younger and fresher and if you really want long lashes there is nothing like the Revita Lash and I use it every single night. I also use the Revita Brow, especially on my tails. I'm out of it right now. I need to reorder the Revita Brow, but this is wonderful. Now, I always say that a makeup is only as good as its primer, and this is a fabulous lid primer, and I did a Primer Wars video where I tested this, which is like $8, the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Primer, which is an eyelid primer that helps your eyeshadow wear beautifully all day long. I tested this against my other primer, which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is like $25. This one won, and it is fabulous if you want long-lasting eyeshadow. Now, here is another product that I always use every single day, and this is the Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer, and it looks grungy and terrible because in a product you use every day, they do get kind of grungy. But basically what this does, see how it looks like I have no pores on my skin at all? Well, that is an illusion brought on by this Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. Basically, I just do one little, one little pea-sized amount, put it here and here and here, smooth it on my face with my fingers. The warmth of my fingers helps rub it in there, and it totally gets rid of the look of large pores. I have had oily skin my entire life. My last pimple was at age 60. So I have huge pores to go along with that, but you would never know it due to this Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. It is fabulous. And Dr. Brandt also has another product that I love and I did a video on and I'll try to link it below. And this is a wonderful product for you if you have under eye bags. This is the Needles No More No More Baggage Under Eye Bag Depuffer. And you put this on before your makeup. I can't remember. I think you can use it after or before your skincare. I don't think it really matters. I'll link that video so you can learn more about it. 
But if you have under eye bags, this product is truly amazing. It makes you look as if you don't have bags or if you have huge bags, it greatly reduces them, which is just wonderful. Now, another primer product that I truly love works for under eye bags, it works for crow's feet, it works for wrinkles all over your face and your neck. This is the Serious Skin Care Instatox and it is a temporary line remover and it works all day long. And I've tried a Peter Thomas Roth one before and it left a white film everywhere. It was very difficult to use. This does not do that. You just put it on your skin and stay stationary. You can put it all over your face if you want or just in those areas like the marionette line areas or the crow's feet areas. You can target those areas that are specifically wrinkly and then you just kind of put it on and you stay stationary for 30 seconds and it dries and you can feel your skin tighten and it leaves you wrinkle free. It is absolutely a beautiful product and the wrinkle free results are temporary but they do last all day. Okay, now I'll get into the makeup items and I do need to start with something I rarely mention and I am really remiss in this because my makeup application started to look markedly better after using these BK Beauty brushes. I particularly like the Angie from Hot and Flashy set and also the All Over set and I'll link those below but these brushes from BK Beauty, I have never used anything like them. They just make your makeup go on so beautifully Everything blends, everything just looks beautiful. You know, looking at my skin right now, I think I could use a little bit of blush. So I'm going to go in with this Angie of Hot and Flashy Blush Brush, and I love this Milani Luminoso. It's kind of a classic. I'll just dip in right there, and I just dab this on, and as you can tell, it's kind of shaped like, you know, a long rectangle, maybe a little bit of a triangle. And then you just, you know, you apply it, and then you buff, buff, buff. You apply it and then you buff, buff, buff. Oh, I'm buffing the wrong way because I'm using my, my uh, monitor as a mirror, which is a mistake. But look how pretty that looks. It looks very, very natural. This brush just makes everything apply beautifully. So naturally love these BK Beauty brushes and there's a discount code under the video. Okay, let's get into my makeup winners from 2023. The first is this Tarte Clay Play Volume 2 palette. And they call this a face shaping palette because not only do you have three lovely neutral looking eyeshadows, but you also have a great concealer here. You have a blush here, which is kind of rosy, kind of a universal tone. And then you have this gorgeous highlighter. And I actually use this on the inner one half, I would say, of my eyelids. I think this is truly, truly beautiful. This is not an expensive palette and it has just a little bit of shimmer in some of the colors, but not so much shimmer that we who are up in our 50s and or 60s, like me, can't tolerate it. Absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous all over face palette. Now, my second eyeshadow palette, I use this particularly when I travel because it is a smaller size than the Tarte Clay Play Volume 2 palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and this is an old classic but I keep going back to it. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. It has this beautiful under brow color. It has this very, very pretty lid color, which I think is just gorgeous. And then it has this color, which I love. This is the Cashmere Bunny, and this is the color that I use in the crease. But I think these are absolutely gorgeous colors, again, with just a subtle amount of shimmer, which we can all tolerate pretty much at any age. Now, these next two products are products that make our eyes pop. And as we get older, sometimes everything nulls out. Our colors are not as strong as they once were. And so it is helpful to have eye products that do bring back the sparkle in your eye, shall we say. The first product I, I use every single day, and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in the color brown, I think it is. And I don't use this for an actual eyeliner, although I could, it is, it is great, and I used to use it that way. I use it in the waterline, and basically that means that in this little tan area that is under your eyelashes, you just use a little bit of this all along the way. I don't want to use it again because I've used it already and it does tend to disturb my contacts a little bit if I don't concentrate. But using this in the upper water liner just makes your lashes look more lush and thick and voluminous as the name implies. Love this. And then I was having a problem finding a really good eyeliner because I was noticing that the pure on point eyeliner that I'd used for maybe three years was looking harsh and making me look older. 
And so what I found is this, and this is what I have left, but I ordered two more because I never want to be without it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, the classic eye powder pencil. And what this does is, if you are used to your eyeliner kind of looking harsh, and as we get older, they tend to, this is actually an eyeliner pencil. And so you don't have to get a makeup brush and dip into your eyeshadow palettes, you know, find a color that will work. This is actually just a little powder pencil, but look at it. It will go on very strongly, but when you apply it as an eyeliner, it just looks soft and gentle and not harsh. It just makes your eyes look soft and beautiful, and it gives them a bit of pop. Now, here is another 2023 winner, and this has been a winner for the past three or four years on my channel. This is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer Crayon, I think it's called, and I use it in the color peach, and I don't know if you can see that, probably not. It's just, yeah, there it is. It's just a little bit of a peach color. And where I use it is right here in the corners of my eyes because I do tend to get black in there. I don't know what it is. I just have a, a big vein, I guess, there. And that is very common as we age to get black around our eyes and anywhere on your face that you have a little vein or a little dark discoloration. And it just helps your under eyes and any problem areas you might have on your face look a bit more flawless. Now, this next mascara is a total surprise to me. This is the City Beauty Beyond Mascara. And for years, this has been my yearly winner. This was the Stila Huge Extreme Lash. Absolutely loved it. But it has been replaced by the City Beauty Beyond Mascara. It is an absolutely gorgeous mascara. It makes your lashes look dark and thick. And also it makes them look longer. Look at that beautiful head that it has there. I love the heads that, that look kind of like a waist because for some reason, I think they just coat the lashes in a better way. And I probably should not do this because I did this before the video and I don't want to get little black marks up on the top of my brows. But I don't know if you can see that, but this is an absolutely beautiful mascara. If you want long, thick lashes with hardly ever a clump, this is a fabulous mascara. Now, while I'm on City Beauty products, this is an addiction that I have. This is the City Beauty, or it's called City Lips Night Oil. And this product sells out very regularly on the City Beauty website because people love it so much. But every night I use this on my lips, and actually I use it in the morning too. You put it on, it is a beautiful serum, a beautiful oil that just makes your lips softer and more kissable over time. I was having a problem with really a lot of chapped lips and a lot of like dead skin falling off my lips. And I started using this product and my lips have never looked better. You put it on in the evening and when you wake up in the morning, your lips just look moisturized and even the tiny lines around your lips are reduced. Now, now my 2023 winner in the concealer category is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. And I wear it in the color 215, which is a buff neutral color. And I've just got it under my eyes there. And then I use it on the corners of my nose where I have a little darkness and I have a little divot on my chin that I always put a couple of dabs of this color on. And I love this concealer because it conceals any darkness you have under your eyes. It really makes your lower eyes look better and it does not magnify those fine lines and wrinkles that we all have under our eyes. Absolutely a gorgeous concealer. This is a favorite of many YouTubers and I can certainly see why. Okay, my next makeup fave is a foundation and it is a brand new one to me. I had never used a mineral foundation before about three or four months ago. And since I discovered the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation, it is the only thing I've been using. I absolutely love it. I apply it with this BK Beauty 106 brush and basically all you do is you unscrew the lid there and then you're just going to shake a little of that product into the lid and then you just dip your brush in there and then apply it to your skin. And what I do is I start with the nose and then I just buff, 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 little round circles all over my face. I come down about halfway on the neck and then I get my, my forehead there and my temple areas. But what I find about this foundation is it just gives my skin a beautiful finished glow. And surprisingly enough, it actually seems to cover up my redness, any imperfections I have. I truly love this powder foundation and it does not magnify wrinkles. It just tends to blend everything in and blur out your imperfections. Absolutely a gorgeous foundation. 
Well, thank you for being with me for my 2023 makeup winners. I'm going to have another video containing my skincare and hair care winners as well. Hope to see you there. And at this point in the video, I normally leave you with a little thought for the day. And I'm kind of running dry of thought for the day items recently. And so what I'd like to ask is, we all have tips that we have that help us lead a better life. It can be housekeeping tips, it can be feel-good tips, it can be wardrobe tips. I don't care what it is. If you have a tip you'd like to share with others, I hope you'll leave the information about it in the comment section below the video because maybe I can use it in a future video and that way your good advice can help other women as well, which is always wonderful. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.